Okay, I've uh, created a copy of part of a Web 105 file of my, one of my old year, years. Um, and to create the index page, you have a couple choices. This is my whole Web 105 folder. Each thing has been created in a folder in here. You can just do it from File Manager, or more likely you're going to do it from Brackets. So I'm going to go into Brackets. Now you're probably not going to need to do the first step because I'm working in a bunch of classes, so I'm going to change to the right class. So I'm going to open Desktop Web 105. This is the one that I'm working with. Okay, and so I don't currently have an index page here, so I'm just going to choose File, New, and then File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as index.html. Now I have Emmet installed, which means that I can do exclamation point tab, and I will call this Mary's Index, or Home, Mary's Home page. And then in the body, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to style this. So I'm going to do a dot container. That's a div named container dot header h1 Mary's web 105 home. Now you can do styles here. You can do styles separately. I usually do styles separately at this point. So these are both at the top level. They're not in a folder here. Now one of the things I like to do is I like to work in split view. And I usually put my styles on the right hand side. So here I might do Family. I'm going to keep styles simple here. Son. And I usually do a container max width 960px, margin 5px, auto background light. Gray. I don't know if I'm going to like that background color. Um, border radius 20 pixels. I just, I have some stuff I just standardly do padding. 15, eh, 20x, and that should make it look okay. Header, text, align, center. You should always do some basic styling, make it not look like crap. Uh, font, family, usually for an H1, I'll make it a little different. Uh, we'll say fantasy, that's fun. I wouldn't do fantasy for paragraph text, and then we're going to take control of the links. Um, a font size 1.3m, that's going to make it 30% larger than normal text, color dark blue, text decoration none, padding left 20 pixels and then I usually do a hover state a hover color orange red we'll see how that looks I'm keeping it pretty simple here this is sort of really minimalistic styling now, if you want to get a little fancier uh, and use look at my sample, I 
I don't expect you to go quite as far as I did, but a lot of people are doing the web 105.mccbgm.net. So we can look at this as far as what you're going to end up with. And so we can see we've got module 1, module 2, module 3, module 4. So I've got eight modules. And you can, you can set it up this way. This is nice. You don't have to, but it's nice. So we can put in a nav margin twenty px fifteen px text align center. Okay, so here I, the, and the way I generally do this, and you could do this with multiple containers or just a single container. This actually should have just been header. In fact, I can make this a cleaner document because a header is just a named div by doing header.container. So it's a header of the class container. And then if I want to, I could put in a nav bar here. And that would be based on what I have here. Where I'd have intro. In fact, using Emmet, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I've got eight. What am I thinking? So I can do a. Eight links. Now with nav, I'm going to want to do this as a display. I don't even know if I need to do the display inline block. That should just happen automatically because I'm just doing this as text. Um, but I probably, actually the padding left should handle it. So we'll see how that looks. So these are going to be on page links. So I can just test them he here for now with the pound sign because that's wh what links to itself. Or I can go ahead and put in, and I could do this, um, I'm just going to do it as a class container. And I'll put in these links again. So I'm going to have, uh, I'll do these as H2. And so here, uh, I want these to match my cover color, so I'm going to do H2 color orange red. And I may make it font family fantasy. We'll make it match. We'll see how this looks. I may not like it once I do it. And so I would put in each one of these. Um, Intro hand coding adding content plan. And you can go ahead and do uh, everything that's coming, even though we don't have these up, if you're going to put in the headings. Because you know what we're going to do based on this, it's going to match. And you want to do this like we did our links page, where we have the internal links, because that's the professional way to do it. So here we'll need to add an ID here. ID equals top. And this will be ID equals intro. And you should do these all lowercase with no spaces. ID equals coding. ID equals content. You would do that for all of them. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because this isn't a real site for me. And when I save it, I'm using um, 
This is new markup is giving me that error check. And about this point, it's time to test it and see how it's looking. I may or may not like the orange and the gray together. Oh, that's kind of hideous. I just don't like the fantasy font. So we're going to get rid of that. We'll leave it at set. That's okay. That's actually quite all right. All right, so we'd add the links underneath it. And these are the links to th the things that you've got done. So we'd have, um, so for each of these, now here you're going to link to these from the top. So you'd have intro, coding, adding content, planning, layout, media, responsive, and WordPress. And that doesn't look half bad. We can make this look like buttons, but I'm actually completely happy with it just like that. And then this would be to the ID, so it would be intro. This would be to coding. And so after this, we'd put our links. So we'd have, um, so I'm just going to work with what I have here. So I'm going to have text, index.html, text. I don't have the initial one here. That would be your initial page. You'd match what you have here. That would be your initial web page. Ignore the practice page. That's for my live class. And that doesn't look half bad. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, and after, before the, the next H2, I would include an A top. Uh, but that should be on a new line, so I'm going to want to put either a break or a paragraph here. So I may want to put these in breaks. I may want to put them in lists. I actually think that it would look good if this one was in a list. And top isn't. That's not bad. And so here, then, if for the hand coding, if these other ones were from, my, from hand coding, I don't know if this was from the same class or not, so let's see. So we'd have, we'll just put in three of them here. So A times three, so you'd have uh, lists, index.html. Oh, I did that wrong. If you're going to do this, it should be L. Um, Parentheses, uh, uh, so we're going to do UL, unordered list, L, I, L, I times uh, greater than A. That's a list item with a link in it times three. Okay. So my reference here would be to lists, index.html lists. And you could go further and describe what it does, but that's not really necessary. This would be links, oops, index.html, links. And then we would have a uh, layout. And so you'd keep going and you'd finish styling your sheet. This is as much fun as you're going to want to have watching me. Now, I like this, but I don't like the bullets, so I would actually put in blue or orange bullets personally. I'd make a picture for them, but I'm not going to go that far. 
but I am going to go into here, UL, list, style, none. Because sometimes I want the bulleted list, but I don't want to see the bullets. And that is pretty much what I wanted to see. OK, so once you've gotten to that point, you would go to, and we'll pretend I'm working in my Web 105 folder. This is the one I'm playing with. That's not my actual list index here. So I would connect to Web 105. Now, the one I have on Web 105, this is real, so I'm not going to overwrite it. But what you want to do is you want to be in your public HTML, and then you want to take your index to the top level of your HTML page, because that's what's going to link to each one here. And that'll put you at where it's working correctly like this. So it's going to mirror the structure you have in your folder, where your Web 105 page and public HTML should have the same structure. Now, this is my real page, so I'm not going to mess with it but you want to make sure that index is sitting out here at the top level. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'm looking for, the level of styling I'm looking for. This is fine. You don't have to go as far as what I did. But I do expect you to take some time and make it look attractive and do internal linking. This is what I'm looking for. And then it should be at the top level so that when you go to it, then I can go to any of these and I can see the different things that are the assignments. They're all linked to right from the front because this becomes your portfolio and you'll be asked to upload it again at the end of the semester.